and welcome to Peace to Empathies. Today, I am going to teach Lisa how to make a Belgian endive and ham gratin. That sounds really fancy. What is it? It's not fancy. It's kind of like the macaroni and cheese of France. Every household makes these delicious gratins, especially in the winter time when it's cold out like it is today. So I'm expecting like cheesy and creamy and hopefully it's got that nice crispy top. Gooey and mm -hmm. like the best parts, me and my sister used to fight over these. Mm -hmm. The best parts are the little baked, like almost burnt edges on the gratin. Those are the best. Yeah. Nice. Anyways, join us today as we make this super simple French dish. The first step is to prepare the endive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim these brown kind of bottom parts off, and then I'm gonna pull off any leaves that don't look nice, like this one right here is a little bit beat up and bruised. And how do you know when you're at the store how to pick out the best endive? Well, that's really easy. Okay, so Belgian endive grows in dark rooms. It's completely devoid of light and so when endive is growing, it's going to be white to light yellow. Like if you see these, these are yellow. When, you, when it's exposed to light, what happens is the yellow leaves start to turn green. So when you're at a grocery store and you see the green ones, avoid those because those have been exposed to light. And part of the problem when they're exposed to light and they turn green is they also turn bitter. The next step is to pre-cook the endive. You have to preheat your oven to 350, and then we're going to butter our gratin dish. I'm using an old school copper dish, but you could use an earthen dish, you could use a skillet or any pan that you want. And you just want to use about one, two tablespoons, let's say two tablespoons of butter. You just want to cover it really well. All right, now we got it nice and buttered. And we're just gonna lay our endive in here. The pan should be big enough that it comfortably fits all your endive. Let me just get these guys in here. And if you have a couple pieces that fall off, don't even worry about it because afterwards, we're going to wrap it in ham. So now I've got the endive inside the pan. We're just gonna put just a little bit of sugar on it. Why do you put sugar? Um, Belgian endive is bitter. And so, you know, just a pinch of sugar. You're not trying to make it sweet. It's just going to counteract the bitterness. I put also a little bit of salt and then just a little pinch of black pepper as well. And then we're gonna take this, wrap it in foil, and throw it in our 350 degree oven for one hour. While the endive is cooking, we're going to make our bechamel sauce. So we're gonna start by melting three tablespoons of butter. And all we're trying to do is melt it over low heat till it's foamy. When the butter's melted, we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. And then we're just gonna stir it and cook this for about five minutes. So we're not looking for any visible sign. What we're looking for it's just to cook the flour a bit. You really don't want it to, to turn any colors. It just stay blonde colored. And notice how it's nice and foamy. And we're going to add one and a half cups of milk. I like to use whole milk, but you could use 2%. And we're just gonna let this cook really slowly until it starts to thicken up. We're gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper just to your taste. And then we're also gonna whisk in a little bit of nutmeg. Now I like to use a microplane and just grate it right in. But you could use pre-ground nutmeg if you'd like. So when it starts to thicken up as it is right now, I'm going to start using a whisk instead and it, it just seems to help stir it a little better, get in the corners a little bit better. Okay, and you know it's done when you can take a spoon and you dip it inside and you take your finger and just run it through and it leaves a track and that's called sauce consistency. So that's what we're looking for. Now that the endive is cooked for one hour, I took it out of the oven 
And then we're going to wrap each endive in ham. What kind of ham are you using? Uh, right now I'm using country ham from Virginia, thinly sliced. You could use prosciutto, you could use uh, even boiled ham. Really there's no wrong or right answer here. And so you just want to roll it up tightly. Plus right now you could do this ahead of time. You could do this the day before so you could just pop it in the oven at the last moment. 30 minutes has passed. It smells so good. It smells so <laughs> incredibly good. Let me go grab it real quick. Okay. Can you just smell it? Mm -hmm. You see how nice you get the brown and crispy parts. Mm -hmm. I mean, even to be honest, my mom used to burn it sometimes and it get even crispier. Mm -hmm. I am literally drooling. <laughs> Anyways, so enjoy this ham, or this uh, Belgian endive and ham gratin. And we'll see you next time on Peace to and Pasties.